Hello, everybody. Thank you for your time about to talk about this important project for us. So, as you know, um, UHIRO has been working on two projects in parallel. One is decommissioning the Okukuya at the summit. So this is progressing well. There's been a lot of progress and planning to, to do this. Uh, in parallel, we're trying to uh, enable a new observatory, a new telescope for our students that we call the UHIRO Educational Telescope at the moment. And uh, the main idea is to install this observatory, this telescope at Alepuaku after a long search for sites on the North Islands, we concluded that to mean the mission, uh, to meet the mission of the observatory, we needed a very good site and that Alepuaku will, uh, will be a very ideal for what we're trying to achieve. So I want to update you a little bit. Many people have seen what we have in mind for that. So I'm going to show the conceptual design and I'm going to update you a little bit more in details what's happening with the uh, contracts that we're talking about with the local firm to do the design and also do a consultation with the public regarding that. I want to sh show you the two main components of the observatory on the left, you have the dome, which is a modern structure, which is 18 feet across and on the right, you have a modern telescope, 1.7 meter telescope. And the silhouettes of people that you have there show the size of what it will look like. So we're not talking about the huge structure here compared to other observatories, for example, that we have on the summit of the UK. So the main idea after this long search for sites, uh, testing different weather monitoring on different places on the Big Island, going there with small telescopes to do observing. The, miss, the, the, the main site of interest remain Alipuaku for us. And we're talking about, so we investigated several places at Alipuaku itself. And the best place we think will be what we call the main testing site behind what we call Dome A. So I will show you an overview uh, on the next slide a little bit just to put you uh, at ease where this is. Exactly. So we tested this site and we're talking here about an area which is not very large, uh, as I will show in the next slide, which is already disturbed if you prefer. Um, there's no vegetation that's to be removed at all. The trees can stay there. Uh, essentially, the observatory, the telescope could be installed just behind there. Uh, this is a very dark site. Um, we don't see lights from the cars at, at all at night, for example. We tested the sky, uh, it can be superb. And so for us, it's very convenient. It's not too far from Uechilo. Uh, we could eventually maybe use Dome A as a local observing room. The observatory is supposed to be used remotely or robotically. And this is probably the best place to install this observatory other than the summit uh, on the Big Island. So what we have in mind is look at the structure here the dome and the telescope will be installed on a platform. Again, this is preliminary, preliminary design. So this is an aluminum platform, which is about maybe two feet high from the ground. And uh, the platform itself is 20 by 24, essentially the size of a, maybe your living room or something like that, a small room. And there's a walkway attached, a possible walkway attached to a link of dome A. And on the right here, you have an overview. If you're familiar with Alepuaku, just next to Dome A is the lounge, the cafeteria. Okay. So putting the observatory there, uh, just uh, behind Dome A, hide for certain lights, scenes from the launch itself, coming from the launch itself, from the parking lot. And with very light light mitigation, you can at some places. Uh, this is an extraordinarily dark site. I've spent a lot of nights under the sky in my 40 years of astronomy, and it's one of the darkest places I've seen. So uh, the observatory, the telescope will look something like this. Uh, we've been discussing uh, how to protect it because there's a road there uh, that's certainly used, but uh, we have some ideas as well how to deal with it. Uh, on 
the side view of this, the only thing that has to be done to the ground is to dig for a pier, a concrete pier, it can be six feet deep, uh, about 30 inches uh, across to hold the telescope, which cannot be linked directly to the platform or the dome to avoid vibration. So the entire height is estimated to about 17 feet from the ground, more or less. And uh, there is no digging for the conduits. We will put the internet and the power coming from Dome A directly under that walkway here. So the only uh, structure that needs to be in the ground is probably this pier. Yeah. This is a mock-up, what it could look like. Uh, the scale is about right. Uh, not perfect, but this is about what it could look like. Again, this is a preliminary design. Um, we have the dome. We have the telescope, we have them at UHILO for years now, uh, ready to go. So installing this is relatively quick. Uh, the dome can be mount installed in one day easily. The telescope itself is modular, so it's, it's easy to install. So, um, and as you see here, there's no um, change much. The only thing that might have to be done to the soil is some grading to make it more uniform to put the pillars in here. We have a lot of pillars here that might be might be a number, a different number of pillars, etc. Things like that. So what's happening with this? This is at the uh that's the basis of a proposal of a contract we have with a company called SSFM, uh, engineering firm here. And we have funding for the design of such a telescope at Alepuaku. I'm talking here about the design, like the construction uh, funding. Uh, so we've had also added recently uh, a request by the Board of Regents about public consultation campaign to that contract. Uh, so we want to consult and inform the population what this observatory will do, what is this for, and uh, how big it is, because some people have different concept of an observatory, and, and et, cetera, et cetera, It's going to be also used by the community itself, by all kinds of students across the state. So uh, we want to inform people. So these two things here have been uh, at the end of the procurement office at UH Manoa for more than two months now. And as of today, because I call, uh, the contract has not been enabled because we're still work waiting for the approval from Manoa, uh, at least from three hours ago. So I don't know if things have moved since then. So uh, it's a little bit um, annoying because we thought that the consultation campaign but now with, should have happened or should be right and going right now, because we want to have the answer to that as a, as a way to talk more with the Board of Regents to eventually talk more about funding, describe the time scale for the design, the construction, if we, we go for it, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, we are a little bit late on the schedule on this because we've been waiting for uh, the approval from the university to do this. Uh, funding for construction has not been identified yet, but I think uh, I'm not too nervous at the moment. We have some ballpark numbers. Uh, again, we have all the equipment, so building the platform and, and things like that is not uh, probably not the richest number, but we need the final design from SSFM to get the real final numbers to, uh, to uh, look more seriously at, at funding for the rest of the project. So this is where we are. Uh, I know that um, the decommissioning is linked to the progress made on, on that. We are essentially ready to go. We're just waiting for the OK. Uh, so if you have any question on this, please let me know. Uh, I don't know 